Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you a paper crafting DIY that is so quick and easy, I can hardly stand it, and the outcome is so stinking cute, and it is for a DIY gift card holder. The next two videos, this one and the one after this one, are gonna be the last two 2019 Christmas DIYs that I bring to you this year, and so, I'm excited to bring these to you because I brought you the quickest and easiest and most budget friendly ones. I saved those for last because these make for that great last minute gift idea. If you're gonna buy somebody a gift card and you wanna dress it up just a bit and not just buy a gift card holder, you can very easily, I kid you not, take five minutes if you have scrapbooking paper and you can make a stinking adorable gift card holder that is gonna leave people just talking about it. I am so excited to bring this to you because I made so many of these this year because I really had fun doing them and I found some really neat paper packs at Michael's for $5 and I ended up getting a bunch of them because I really liked the print and the design in these paper packs. The packs I got at Michael's are ones that I will be using today to show you how to make this quick and easy five minute DIY gift card holder that you are absolutely gonna love. So let's not waste any more time, let's jump into it and let's do some paper crafting today. Before I dive into the DIY, I wanted to show you the three paper packs that I got at Michael's for $5 a piece. 48 sheets of 12 by 12 thick, good quality cardstock. And so I just wanted to kind of thumb through these and let you see some of the amazing patterns that are on these. I really love these. I really liked this one because it was the blue Christmas wintry theme and that's something a little different than I typically get. This one here was my absolute favorite. Spotted it because of the red trucks loving all of the browns and just the craft paper type color. This is definitely one of my favorite style with the chalkboard prints on it and whatnot. Now this sheet here, this pack comes with three of these sheets. These make for great embellishments. All you got to do is cut these out and these are perfect for embellishments. This is such a fun pack. This sheet here is also great for making belly bands or just bands that you're gonna wrap around something because there's so many different types and for embellishments here at the top that you can cut out. Loving this red truck one. Glad this came with three sheets of that. Moving on to the last one, really liked this one because it was like that craft paper, black, red, and white prints. And so these are really farmhouse and rustic. Lots of fun prints in this book as well. While I'm thumbing through this paper pack, I just wanted to take a second and say that in the past couple paper crafting videos that I've done, I've had several subscribers say to me that they don't have all the fancy tools that I'm using to do these projects. And I just need to convey to you all that you really don't need these tools. Sure, these tools make them easier, but if you have scissors and a ruler and a pen cap to score with and a bottle of Aileen's Tacky Glue, you can do any of these projects. Getting started with this DIY, I am going to start off with a solid piece of black cardstock. This cardstock is eight and a half by 11 inches, and I'm gonna cut this into three and a half inch strips, and I'm gonna keep it at the eight and a half inch wide length that it is. And out of one piece of cardstock, you should be able to get three pieces at eight and a half by three and a half inches, which is going to make for three gift card holders using one sheet of cardstock. And now we're gonna score each of these sheets at two inches, then rotate it and score it at two and a half. And that is all the scoring that is needed for this. So we've got the two and a half on this side and two on this side. 
I'm going to round the corners on the two inch side. Seem to have misplaced my corner rounding tool, so I'm going to use this envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers because it has one here. This is not a must. If you don't have a corner rounding tool, don't worry about doing it. I cut two pieces of the decorative scrapbooking paper as accent pieces in the sizes of three and one quarter inches by one and three quarter inches and three and one quarter inches by two and one quarter inches. On this smaller piece, which is the one and three quarter inch piece on the bottom edge, those two corners, I'm gonna round those two corners. Then I'm gonna fold in my scoring lines and I'm gonna start with the bottom one, which is the two and a half inch side. And I'm gonna take the bigger decorative piece of scrapbooking paper that I cut and just run a couple of glue strips on each side. And this is gonna go on this flap here. This top part here is actually the top flap to our card holder. So I'm gonna fold that in and on the smaller piece where we rounded the corners or not, I'm gonna place a bit of tape on each side and I'm gonna place that right on this top flap here. Now to close up this card holder, you're just gonna open it up and on the two and a half inch flap on the inside, you're just gonna run a bit of glue or tape right along that outside edge, fold it back over and there we've just made a card holder envelope. So simple. Now how fun is this and what a fun way to decorate a gift card holder and really personalize it. Now to close up this card holder, I'm gonna use what's called a belly band, which is really just a strip of scrapbooking paper that's gonna go around the card holder itself. This sheet of scrapbooking paper was perfect for that because it had all these different strips of coordinating scrapbooking paper. So I just picked this one out that I really liked that I thought would go perfect with the red truck. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the top of this card and I'm just gonna fold it over, cut off any excess paper that I have and using my tape adhesive, I'm gonna just glue the two ends of this strip together in the back. I was at Michael's yesterday and I saw that these cupcake toppers were 60% off because all of Michael's Christmas stuff is 60% off. These were originally priced at $3. I got them for about $1.25. Stuff like this makes for great embellishments when you repurpose it. Now, if you wanna to stick to just using this paper pack, now would be the time to pull out this sheet and cut out one of these squares to use as an embellishment to finish off the front of this card holder. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna remove the toothpick from this and would you look at how stinking cute this is. You'd be none the wiser that it was once upon a time a cupcake topper and it was way less expensive than buying a 2D or 3D sticker and we just got a six pack for $1.25. Using a bit of tape, I'm gonna adhere this onto the center of my belly band, finishing off this card holder. I tell you, from start to finish, it probably took me a total of 10 minutes with cutting the paper and putting it together. Once the paper was all cut, it really did only take me about two or three minutes to actually put the gift card itself together. What I love about these are there are endless possibilities. These are such versatile paper projects that you can do because it really is up to you to be creative, make it your own, do it in your style, do it with the papers that you like, the colors that you like. You could go as bright and vibrant as you want. You can go as rustic and farmhouse as you want. These are great for any occasion, for birthdays, you name it, baby showers. It's endless possibilities and I just think that they're so fun to make. And really, I think I must have made at least 20 of these in just a couple of hours. And when it's nearing the end of each holiday, just a tip, a few days before the holiday comes, usually Michael puts all of their holiday decor and products on sale for about 60% off. And so I like to go and look at their cupcake picks or the cupcake toppers like I'm using today. 
because like I said before, they make for great embellishments once you remove the toothpick at such a budget-friendly price. It really is no different than using a puffy sticker in my book. And so if you do that for each of the holidays, you can very easily buy stickers for each holiday for about $1.25 a piece, and you can make gift cards for any holiday. I found this pack of ribbon at Michael's that was marked 60% off, but really it wasn't. It was more than 60% off. It was originally $16.99 and I got this for $5. And so I picked up several of these in different colors and I thought it would be a cute addition to add fabric as the belly band just by wrapping it around the gift card the same way. And it adds a different look, it's giving you different textures, and if it's something that you have in your stash, you could very easily use this instead of paper, or even Dollar Tree twine would be adorable as well. Just giving it a different look, a more rustic look other than a crafted look. And again, I just topped this off with one of those cupcake toppers and look at how stinking adorable this looks. I love these. I really just love that handmade, homemade touch that these gift card holders give to a gift card. It's something different. When I made these two, I did add a mat to the background of this one just to add kind of a frame to the embellishment. These gingerbread cookies are a felt sicker that were also 60% off at Michael's, so I couldn't resist them. Thought that they would be cute on this as well. Really, the possibilities are endless. Get creative, make these your own because it is such a fun way to gift a gift card. When I told you these were quick and easy, I wasn't kidding, and yes, they are budget friendly because it's paper crafting. And when you work with paper, because paper is so inexpensive, it's so budget friendly, and you can get so much of it for just a couple of dollars. It's one of my favorite things to craft with. It really is because I tell you, I paper craft all of the time and I use my Cricut all of the time because they're just two of my favorite things to do. And so this definitely is one that I had a lot of fun doing. This was a Pinterest inspired DIY gift card holder that I just wanted to bring to you all to show you how easy it is and how inexpensive it is to do stuff like this yourself. I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY gift card holder paper crafting. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day and a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now everybody.